Hi there, I'm Craig Dennison with Fly Fishing Chronicles and today we're going to share a super tributary pattern, a, uh, an Estaz stone. And uh, I'm going to let the camera get a little bit closer and we'll talk about what we're tying today. First of all, you know, all uh, tributary fish feed on stoneflies. I don't think any uh, angler, you can never have enough stonefly patterns in your arsenal or in your fly box. So we're going to tie a really kind of a quick and a very effective uh, stonefly called the Estaz stone that's got a hot bead on it. So that's the copy of the finished fly. Our materials include the uh, Tiemco 200R hook. In this case, I'm tying it on a size 10. You can go up or down a couple sizes, no problem. But a size 10 uh, Tiemco 200R curved shank hook with a hot bead. Um, hot bead colors, you know, chartreuse is like, like, just always attractive. It seems like for steelhead, um, but you can vary. You can go pink, you can go purple, any different hot bead colors that you want. For the body, we're going to use some uh, black estaz, kind of medium estaz that will trim a little bit. Uh, for the tail, I'm going to use black uh, goose uh, tips, and uh, for the shell back, we will use some thin skin, although you can use anything similar to thin skin if you want. So just a quick black shell back. So let's get started. I've got some uh, 6 aught black uni thread. Um, you can go 3 aught if you want, but just start with a real quick body or a quick uh, thread base. Going back, so I've got a nice quick thread base and keeping that tip of that bodkin nice and tight to the hook shank. Um, I like to put some weight. Uh, this is lead free um, .030 uh, round wire. You can go heavier if you want, but I'm going to jam that lead um, wire right underneath that hot bead and then really put some pressure and I'm putting a whole bunch of wraps right behind it to tie it in tight. So I've got that in and uh, some people like to uh, you know put the the lead uh, on the side um, I want a quick effective pattern and I don't want to spend too much time tying it since sometimes you lose these in rocks in tributary fishing. So I've got about 8-10 spirals on that and I'm just going to really kind of tightly cinch that down, that lead free wire, break it with your, just move it back and forth, shake it, and break it off. Use your hand and kind of trim that in, tuck that loose lead free piece down and I'm just using my bodkin thread just to do a real loose wrap against cover that wire up a little bit with that weight doesn't hurt to put a little bit of head cement if you want on this there you go okay so for the tailing you can use rubber legs like uh, these turkey biots tough, tough to beat they're just so sharp and pointy and neat so I'm going to lay one across Oops. before you just kind of loose wrap and lay it right in there. I've got that. Grab the other one and crisscross it. Kind of measure it just right for that tailing material. And loose wrap. Yep, I'm going to look at it. It's a nice rotary vise. And, uh, you know, I'm going to tie this, I'm going to kind of build it right into that lead, that lead free spot. Helps transition, give me a little better taper there. Next, take your black Estaz. And you can pinch wrap, tie that in. I'm just going to pinch wrap, tie that in nice and tight. Go back. Now I'm going to wrap my thread forward to right behind the hook eye. Okay? So using, using the rotary vise, I'm just going to wrap forward. Oops, keep, make sure you keep that thread up front. Wrap, 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 and I see my thread's going around the eye, that's okay. I'll correct that later. Alright, so I've got a nice simple body, and I'm holding my Estaz to the side, and I'm just going to tie that off just so it doesn't get loose or go anywhere on me. Just a couple quick wraps. So at this point, I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to trim a really nice ab um abdomen on this. So I'm going to taper that that body kind of using my, my one of my fingers as a, a stabilizer. 
I'm just going to trim, trim, try to get a little tapered profile if I can. Trim that a little bit, but being careful not to trim the big tag end that I have for the SDAS. And trim. Again, notice that angle. I'm really trying to create nice proportions on that. Okay. So I've got that tied in. Now it's time for your thin skin. You can use, you know, black trash bag if you want, but this is nice, durable, thin skin. Um, I'm going to lay this. I'm not even going to trim it because I've already cut it to width, the width that I want. I'm going to lay it right in. And again, I'm not worrying about proportions as much right now. Okay, so I've got that in. I'm going to pull that forward. So now I'm going back, wrapping back the eye. And this is where you just take your Estaz, you're going to really build build a bit of a, a bigger body, beefier body. A couple more. Tie that off. One. Nice and tight. Trim that at an angle. Pull it tight. Now take your thin skin. And you're just going to wrap that forward. You know, you might be able to, you probably can catch a whole bunch of fish without that thin skin, but I like that shell back, that carapace. I think just think it gives it a better, sharper look. Now I'm going to take my tag end and I'm going to tightly trim that. Got a little flap there. I'm going to push it down with my nail. There, nice, nice, tight marriage between that thin skin and the bead head. Whip finish. A couple quick wraps. You hear that nice ping when I cut that. You know that you know you're keeping pressure on the thread when that happens. All right. What I want to do now is I'm just going to trim just a touch, just a touch. So I've got nice leggy sides, big fuller body, and uh, that's your that's your really you know it's a four, five, six, seven minute tie if that, and it's weighted. It's got the bead head which you can vary the color. Uh, it, boy, it's great. Dead drifted. You can swing it towards the end but a real effective pattern, especially for stoneflies in the Great Lakes. Again, I'm Craig Dennison with Fly Fishing Chronicles. I hope you go out and tie this and fish it, and great luck. Enjoy.